Hi, this is Tim McCamus. We're at the track today with Master Engine Tech, Billy Rice, and we're going to demonstrate a uh, tool that we've designed to help uh, break the locks loose from the retainers on the uh, cylinder heads. So, due to the uh, high spring pressures these cars run now, the locks get almost embedded into the titanium retainer, and it's very hard to get those loose when you want to change a valve spring on the engine. So, we've uh, kind of designed this little tool here that is a two-piece tool. It has a... Um, a drive bar and a, an aluminum uh, cup that fits over the, the retainer and it has some misalignment here because on a door car you have some obstacles to get around so you can get off angle with this thing. So what we've done is put uh, we put a little air in the cylinder to hold the valves up tight. This uh, is going to slip over the retainer. There's a little uh, recess in here for the last cap in the valve stem hole to go into and then uh, this is going to slip on. This is going to go in here, and then we're going to tap this with a hammer. And it works good to use a uh, like a dead blow ball peen hammer instead of a soft face. We want to give that thing a sharp smack to bust that uh, seal loose around that uh, retainer lock. So I'm going to give this to Billy. He's going to show you how it works. Okay, so he just done two hits. You could tell the change in the tone when it broke it loose. So. Two smacks with that. Normally there's a variety of ways to try to get this loose and none of them are very effective. But uh, two little taps here and uh, we've effectively cut about uh, 40 minutes off of the time it takes to do this job. So now that that's broke loose, you can easily put the uh, tool on there to compress the spring, take the retainer off, and uh, change the, uh, the spring out. So if you'd like for, uh, more information on this, just uh, give us a call at the shop or get online at timmacamus.com.